This is the Central Medical Store, the heart of the nation's medical requirements. It is one of the largest government warehouses in the country and various medicine is kept here before dispatched to various hospitals and clinics across the country. But of late, the Central Medical Store has been under the spotlight that it has apparently ran out of ARV stock, putting the health of thousands of HIV patients in danger. The Minister of Health has denied the allegations and maintained that the first line of treatment has always been in stock and that only few follow-up medication that is not available because of the delay by the manufacturers. Those patients are now given pediatric ARV as an alternative. Yes, it's correct. I mean, that's an alternative. It's the same thing if, if your, your doctor gave you a dosage which is higher, but you find them breaking a tablet to give to the, to the small kids. Yeah. It is working, people. We are saying that we have alternative. If, stock, if there's a stock out for a certain item, of which the challenges I mentioned, that we are importing some of this item. But what I want to make it uh, clear is that we don't have a shortage. Ngulu took us around the store where we found various drugs such as nevilapine and lamivudine in stock. He described the boxes as buffer stock that would always cover up even when there is an increase in demand. He appealed to patients on ARV treatment to remain calm and continue going to the hospitals to collect their drugs. We don't have a shortages. Of course, they might be stock out of some of those individual medication that they take. But the ministry, together with our doctors and our technical advisor, uh, have been designing these other alternatives that they are able to take. So they might just bear with us while we are getting in their individual uh, dosages, whatever. Uh, normal tablets. Ngulu also revealed that the tender board has given an exemption of $300 million to the central medical store for the procurement of drugs to respond quickly when there is an urgent need. There are about 120,000 people in Namibia on ARV treatment. Tonate Nishidudu, NBC News, Vinduk.